Well, if you feel the need for speed, boating along the Erie Canal probably isn't for you. But if you're like David Harris, the real enjoyment comes with slowing down and taking in all of the sights and sounds. Well, after several setbacks, he finally finished a big project that he has been working on for several years now, and it is perfect for a relaxing ride. For David Harris, there's nothing quite like a leisurely cruise along the Erie Canal. A friend of mine took me up on a trip on the canal on his powerboat, and I thought it was beautiful and restful and relaxing, so I thought I'd like to have a canal boat. Harris spent nine years in the Coast Guard, so he's got plenty of experience sailing in rough waters on really big boats. These days, though, he's more focused on tranquility and really enjoying the journey. The fun was building the boat. You know, it's the journeys, not the destination. His latest project in retirement is turning a lot of heads along Tonawanda Creek. I'm waiting for the paparazzi to show up. Harris combined his passion for boating with his knowledge of woodworking to create this homemade boat. The hardest part was starting because when you start, it's just a pile of wood and you build the frames and it doesn't look like much. Finishing the boat took way longer than he expected. He started the project in July 2017. Eight months later, he was diagnosed with cancer for a second time. I had had lymphoma. 22 years ago, and they told me to never come back. Well, surprise, it came back. So I had to go through some pretty intense chemotherapy for about 18 months. But even that couldn't stop him from tinkering away in his garage. Then came a global pandemic and a total hip replacement earlier this year. Still not enough to sink his plans to build a boat, which in case you didn't know, you build upside down, then you need a little help to get it right side up. And it weighed about probably 7,800 pounds at that point. So I sent out an invitation to my whole community. I'm going to have a boat flipping party. And I think probably 40 or 50 people showed up, many I didn't even know. Oh, I got the best friends in the world. Oh. Yay! Getting ready to launch was a mixture of excitement and a bit of anxiety. There's a million things I knew that could go wrong. And I'm not an expert boat builder, but if everything went well. Other things are going well, too. Harris has been cancer free for a year, and now he's really ready to enjoy life's journey. He and his wife Donna plan to travel as far as they can down the Erie Canal this summer. The building it, I think, was more fun than actually having the boat so far. And you know, once I start traveling, it might change, but it was, uh, it was, you know, the, the old cliche, and I hate to repeat it, but the, uh, the journey is more important than the destination.